So the way that the test works is it's extremely good at ruling out disease. And the way that it can be done, it can be done at the point at which that patient would be admitted. And that's an extremely powerful place to introduce a test that allows you to separate two groups of patients. There's a group of patients who may have the disease, there's a group of patients who don't have the disease. We are currently expending a significant amount of energy looking at both groups of patients. Sending one group home and saying we don't need to worry about you means we can focus our efforts on the patients who may be at risk of the disease. I talked about this test in very general terms at a meeting in London and interestingly normally when I give these sorts of talks it's usually scientists and other clinicians and actually the, the main number of people who came and spoke to me were clinical commissioning groups and they were saying well actually we can see the value of this test. When can we get it? How do we use it? And so I think there is some value to not admitting patients who don't need admitting. And you can count that in financial terms, which I think is important. But I'm a clinician, so I think it's nice for me not to stress my patients out when they don't need to be stressed out. And there's no reason to do it. Yeah.